Hello there, it's me, Kimberly Gosney from MakingHeadway.us, and in today's fun tech tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to add an image and a link to anywhere on the internet on the sidebar area of your WordPress website. So if you're ready to dig into this quick tech tutorial, I am stoked to share it with you. So true story, this week I'm making a template that gets released later in the week for my Headway Themes users and it's called Giggle and I was giggling when I came to the page today because I knew that one of the first things someone purchasing this template would want to know from me is how to get a sidebar image over here in this widget section, a fun image to call out a special page or an affiliate link or something great that you're serving up on your website. And then I thought, okay, so there's gonna be a bunch of people who wanna know how to do this, and so I'm your girl. Today I'm gonna to show you how to put a sidebar image on your website, and you can also link this image to pages on your site or anywhere on the internet. So we are going to go ahead and get started right now. The only thing that you need for this tutorial is to have an image for the sidebar of your website. And if you don't know how to make this image, don't worry, I've got you covered. I've got some Adobe Illustrator tutorials on makingheadway.us or .us as I like to call it. I've also got tutorials on my YouTube channel that show you how to make sidebar buttons for your website in Adobe Illustrator. So don't worry, I've got you covered with the image itself. So don't freak out about the picture, but I wanted to walk you through the process of popping this image on your sidebar. So here we go. This is done as a widget in WordPress. So you don't have to be using Headway themes to use what I'm about to share with you. If you're creating any kind of WordPress site, no matter what theme you have, you probably have a sidebar widget area somewhere on your site, so you should be able to do this tutorial. We're going to make a brand spanking new page on your website. This page is not going to be a page that you're going to keep. All it is is because sometimes WordPress can be a little bit like brain surgery or rocket science, we're just going to eliminate the need for coding here. We're also going to eliminate the need for you having to add an image plugin to put images on your sidebar. Like we're going to do this and you're going to see the hardcore coding behind the scenes, but you're not going to have to be a brain surgeon to figure it out. So that's what I love about WordPress. There's a lot of little quick tricks and tips that you can do that'll save you a ton of coding time and they're just super fun. I mean, let's face it, you don't want to feel like your website a freaking chore. You want to have a good time while you're building your website. <laughs> okay, that's why I like to say you'll DIY a website you'll love because really it shouldn't feel like a chore. So here we go. I am on this pretend page of my website. I'm going to click anywhere in the big white box. That's the content block of your WordPress website. You want to be in visual mode here to start out with. That's how most people get into the content block. So let's do it like we should. You're going to click on align to the center here. By aligning it to the center, it's going to put your picture right smack in the middle of your page. That's where you want it. Now we're going to do add media. So the reason that we're centering this image, I know I didn't give you a lot. I just kind of forcefully said you're going to put it in the middle. But here's why. When your sidebar gets viewed on mobile, you don't want your pictures to be the left-hand side or to the right-hand side. You want them going straight down the line if your site is mobile responsive. So that's why we're going to center that bad boy. Next step is to put your image into your website from wherever you saved it on your computer. That's usually the hardest part. Where the heck did I save that daggone image? So you're going to go to Upload Files and Select Files. You're going to find that sweet spot where you saved your picture. And then you're just going to hit Insert into Page. But me, mine's already in my media library. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it right now. And I'm just going to hit Insert into Page. So ba bam First step done. We have got our picture on our page, but we have two more steps. We need to put a link in here and we need to put it on the widget area, not on a page, right? So keep on, let's keep on trucking. Way too much coffee, I apologize. I'm like really bad about drinking way too much coffee. Like it is literally five o'clock in the afternoon and I feel like it's 9 a.m. because I'm ready to roll. So let's click on this picture. So when we click on this picture, you've got the option to click this little pencil right here and put the link in from there, but I don't want you touching that pencil. I want you up here in this insert edit link box. Depending on your version of WordPress, this could look a little tiny bit different. I am on what I think is the newest version of WordPress right now. 
So right here is where you're going to put a link to where you want people to go when they click your sidebar button. So let's talk about this. I want them to go to a page on my website. They're going to go to my Giggle What's Included page. But for you, they might be going somewhere else. You might be sending them off to see something on Facebook. You might be sending them off to an affiliate link that you're a partner for something on another website somewhere else on the internet. So where they're going is how we're going to structure this link. So you're going to put in your link. And I'm going to go ahead and type mine in right now. It's a long one, sorry. There we go. So there's my link. They're staying on my site, so that's all I need for the link part. But if you're sending someone else to somewhere off in internet land, you want to make sure that they have a clear way to get back to you because you are what matters right now, right? You, you, you. <laughs> that's so, that's so like narcissistic sounded, but seriously, you're the most important thing. You are. So if you're sending them to somewhere else on the internet, you're going to click this little link options button right here and you're going to hit open link in a new tab. That way when they go off to wherever you're sending them to, they've got a clear and easy path to get back to you. So I want you to start thinking about that anytime you're popping in links. A clear and easy path back to you if you've sent someone off to internet land. So there we go. Now we're just going to hit update. So for me, I don't have to check that because they're going to stay on my site, but if you're sending them somewhere else, way far away, make an easy path back to you. So now, we're not going to publish or save this page because we don't need it. We just used this page to make the rocket science and brain surgery that is WordPress much easier to digest. So now you're just going to click on this text button right here and you're going to copy all of this highly technical gobbledygook. You're just going to copy all of that. Now we're going to open up a new tab in our browser. So that way you've still got your gobbledygook in another tab. And you're going to go back to your website. So I'm headed back over to Giggle right now. And when you get there, you're going to look for the widgets. So you're going to do widgets. Now we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and you're going to see this text widget. You're just going to roll this bad boy up and you're going to pop it into the spot that you want people to see it at. So I already had this exact same one, but I'm going to have two of them in a row. But for you, you want to put it in the order that you want it to appear on your website. And then you're just going to paste all your gobbledygook. So you're pasting your gobbledygook. And this way is... Um, it takes a second or two extra, but it saves you from having a plugin on your site that does the same thing that then puts another plugin on your site, which slows things down and mucks up your site. So we're trying to keep you as plugin free as possible. And we're just going to hit save. So now we've hit save. And of course, if you want a little title, you can just type one in right there. But I'm keeping this one title free. And so now we're just going to visit our site. And I'm going to head over to the blog because that's where the sidebar lives. And now we're just going to take a peek and see, ta-da, there is your sidebar image. And when people click on it, like magic, the new page appears. And then they're able to see what you want them to see from that awesome sidebar widget area. So on your sidebar, you can start experimenting with this. Create different shapes and different sizes of these sidebar buttons. But I promise you, on your blog sidebar, this is the perfect place to start popping in some things to get attention, especially if you're doing affiliate links for other people or if you have something new that you've created that you'd like more eyeballs to see it. So go ahead and start popping in those cool sidebar image links. And when you do, I want you to reach out to me you know where to find me. You know where to find me. And if you don't, shame, 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 come visit me at makingheadway.us and you can click on the bottom of any of my blog posts and share a link with me. Like send it to me. I want to know if you do this and if you use this tutorial to put something on the sidebar of your website. So thanks and have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.